Shall we play a game? Fairchild's Channel F video system 2. There are 24 cartridges with over 1,000 game variations. Hello and welcome back to Vintage Gaming Memories. I appreciate your interest in checking out this video. If you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe. Let's just jump right into this one. So I'm really excited to open this box. And as you know by the title and thumbnail, this is Fairchild Channel F System 2. The F stands for fun, in case you didn't know. And if you watched some of my recent videos, you might have seen the one that I created on the original Fairchild Channel F that I purchased in the beginning of this year. It was my first gaming console I had as a child back in the late 70s, so I have a fondness for it. However, this Channel F System 2 I have never knew existed until a year ago, and I have been searching pretty hard for it and finally found the one. Well, it includes the original box, and it's complete with all the materials within it. The seller noted that this was a complete system and tested. So this is pretty much a rare find for sure. Now the only concern is the way this box looks. This is the shipping box. I have not even opened it yet. So let's just hope for the best. Let me show you what the box looks like. I mean, it's like it's even open inside here. <laughs> I just hope nothing got in there. I mean, it's not wet, so it's not like damaged water-wise, but it is smashed. And I can feel things moving around in there. Uh, this side is a little bit better, but you can see the top. I mean, it's just, it is definitely not, um, <laughs> it's not firm. All right, let's open this up. And this whole... This is going to be intact and not damaged. Okay. okay, I see how this was packed. So there was two empty boxes here to support, support it. And that's probably why it was kind of flimsy which is fine as long as the main box is in good condition and it looks like it is so far. Nice bubble wrapping. Let me just get this whole shipping box out of the way. Can you see it through the bubble wrap? I sure can. It's exciting because I did not know this existed and when I did, like I said, it was just hard to find one that was in working condition, let alone complete with everything like this one is. It looks like the box is in great condition. So there it is. Channel F System 2. So it will actually work with the original cartridges, but there are a lot of different things with this. Let me just first open this up and let's just check it out before I get into the details. The box itself. I mean, it's... In perfect condition that's pretty amazing let's open it up oh yeah it is definitely complete we have the warranty card nice A little advertisement here of other games you can purchase. Some more warranty cards. There's three of them. And then the overall system two instructions, I guess. This is how to play the games. I think this is the actual user guide or the setup. Yep, this would be it. Here is the connection to the antenna with the RF connection. It's the original one. And then you've got the power and the RF connector coming out of the console. This looks great. Let me uh, get this stuff situated here.
this is the original uh, foot pads that they have or the bottom pads they are rock hard but they are the original they're not brittle where they're coming apart where I've seen some like that so it's okay to leave it on I think when they start to fall apart and they start staining whatever they're sitting on top of like my shelf then I'll have to replace these but I'm gonna leave them on for now it had some gunk on here so I was very careful to cut it off without having to go too deep into it so now I'm gonna do a wipe down on the entire system Now, always being very careful about these stickers. I try not to go over them because they can peel off easy. The bottom looks good. Let's work on the sides and on the top. You can see how dirty that is. Let me get this. I'll put it over the top. I cleaned the console pretty good. I mean, it's not the best cleaning I did, but I will open it up and clean it more. But for now, it's pretty good. Okay, so let me clean the controller. I'm going to give you an idea probably how dirty it could be just by the cord. So start off at the top. We don't pull on it too hard at all. We hold it, and then we pull it, and there you go. Now, the handle itself, this really requires me to open it up, but I'm going to try to just clean it on the outside first. I need to make sure it's clean before I do it with the uh, Novus One product. So that's why it may seem like I'm very anal about having things clean. But it's really because I apply that uh, cleaner and, and polish and protectant on top of it. And on these joysticks or these controllers, you can see the inside. So that's how easily dirt can get inside there and make the controller itself difficult to maneuver. You know, if it gets stuff clogged in there or just you know muckies up the connection so i'll open this up definitely for sure but just probably not right now i want to at least test this to make sure it works okay this controller is done it's clean it feels good same thing with this start off the top or whatever end you want little things like this make a difference for people who buy Collectibles some people like to buy them when they're just dirty because they figure they can get a good deal It'd be priced less because it doesn't look as good um, There's some truth to that. I think it all depends on who the seller is if they're knowledgeable on what they have that they're selling So regardless of how it looks they're gonna price it right So a little history on the channel F system while I'm cleaning here this console here was a redesign of the original Channel F console, and there's definitely obvious differences. I'll point them out. This one here was released in 1979, whereas that original one, it debuted in 1976. So a year before Atari, before the Atari 2600, that is. This was discontinued in 1983, so it was definitely a very short run, 1976 to 1983. Okay, I've got the Fairchild System 2 connected and ready to go with the television. Let's turn this thing on and let's hope for the best. Looks great. Now, there's two built-in games on these consoles. One of them is hockey and the other one's tennis. And that's what it's waiting for now for me to select. If it was a green screen, then it would be a cartridge pushed in. But I don't have a cartridge in. I just want to test the basic functionality. So we'll just do game one. And let's start. My controller works great for uh, player one. Player two also works great. Let's try the other game on here. Game two, start, looks like it works great. Well, I'm happy to say that this 
system two is perfect condition. And I mean, well, let's not go overboard, right? It's it's really good condition. Uh, it, physically, it looks awesome. It plays. Both controllers work without a problem. I mean, couldn't ask for anything more. All right, I'm going to wrap up this video with a comparison between the original Fairchild Channel F and the Fairchild Channel F System 2. And I have to say I'm very happy that I got both of these from two different auctions, two different sellers, all within a couple of weeks from, from each other, which was pretty amazing to me because I was looking for this for quite some time. And yeah, there was other options out there, but quality of the of the consoles did not look good, let alone I did get the boxes for both of them, and they're working perfect, everything. So I got quite lucky. Good start to the new year, right? First, let's just say an initial look at both of these. You can see that the original here had that inner compartment with that removable smoke color top, which is this. This broke a lot. If you look for these online, you won't pretty much find some in great condition or even in available because they're cracked. So that's um, a vulnerability with this original one, but that's where the controllers are held. And in the system two, it doesn't have that because it sits snug in the back here in a little cradle, which is quite nice. But speaking of controllers, another change is that these two controllers are now removable. So let me just turn this around. You will see on the bottom here that they can be pulled out. Pretty simple. And there they are. So it is a nine pin and it is detachable, which is pretty cool. So both controllers are now detachable. Let me see if I can show you on the bottom here so there it is so that is the rf connection which is detachable which is very nice the only thing that you cannot detach is the power cord which is the same with the original i do have to say that it's more than a convenience factor of being able to store something when it's removable it also serves as an easy way to maintenance and maybe replace it if you ever need to do that just imagine if you had a, a bad controller or even the rf cable was cut you wouldn't have to just, you know, go ahead and desolder it from the board like you would on the original. Instead, you just unplug it, get a new cable, plug it in, you're all set. So when you look at the front of these systems and you see the options that are available, one thing that stands out for me that I really do like is the power switch. On the system two, it's located right in front here, a nice little toggle switch. On the original, it's in the back. It's a switch all the way in the back left corner here and you just go left and right on that. Now, you know, I guess if it's in a shelf, you really don't want to have to go and reach in there and feel for it every time you turn it on. Also, if you're turning it on and off every time you're swapping a cartridge, it's kind of a pain. So there's, there's you know, reasonings for why it's nicer to have it in front. So to the right of the power switch, you'll see the same set of five buttons on the system too. It's not labeled directly on the button though. Instead, you'll see the functions for each button right in front of it on a plastic uh, side angle here. You've got the reset button, the one, two, three, four, which also doubles for the time, mode, hold, and start. On the original, you had your reset, one, two, three, four, labeled, and then you had the uh, functions right above it and what it also doubles as. The two minute, five minute, 10, 20 minute changes for time mode, and then the game settings here. That's another difference it looks a little bit cleaner i guess on the system too and i think um it's not as if you're gonna be playing the onboarded games all the time anyway so do you really need to label hockey and tennis for one and two as we look towards the right side where the cartridge slot is you'll notice that it's also been redesigned on the original the eject button would be on the bottom where the cartridge would be sitting on and pushed in and in the system too it's located on the top there's also a little bit more play on this on the original and on a system too there's not much okay let me put a cartridge in so you can see the difference and now in the system too
slight difference, but I do like it on top. I think it's a little bit uh, of a better location than on the bottom here where you can accidentally push it while you're kind of putting it in. Also, if you look at the system, you'll notice that the power adapters are larger on the original. And the system too, quite a different in size. And in weight, let's see how much of a difference in weight these two systems are. On the internal side of things, the original Fairchild Channel F had all its audio coming directly from the system speakers, which was kind of annoying because there was no adjustment on the sound. However, on the Channel F System 2, they actually put it through the RF cable now, so you can control it on whatever output you're putting it through, whether it's your television or a monitor, you just adjust the volume from there, which is totally nice. Then one last thing to mention on both of these units, I guess it's not an advantage on one or the other. I don't think I mentioned it on the original Channel F video that I made, but these both have the ability to pause or freeze the play on the two built-in games. So on the tennis and hockey game, you can actually stop the play with the pause of a button. And that button is the hold button, which is number three on this one and also three here. Pausing in mid-game seems like eh, not a big deal. But this was the, one of the first, if not the first, home system that ever had such an option, which made it pretty unique and um, a cool feature. That's a good number of changes that I believe improved this system, the original, to the system too. However, the party still ended in 1983. This was all discontinued at that point. And now it's just a collectible item, but it's a really cool system, either one. I think it's, it shows a lot of cutting-edge technology in the sense of the uh, controllers, how they look, and the gameplay, and as well as some of the features, like I mentioned, the, the, hold, the hold button or the pause, and the uh, cartridges being the ROM cartridges are pretty neat. Comment down below and let me know if you know of any other features that were improved from the original that I might have missed. I think I covered all of them, but you never know. Thanks for watching this video on the Fairchild Channel F System 2. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Until next time, keep that gaming passion for the past alive by living it today. Take care, everyone.